We're now going to take a look at the use of data warehousing and data mining in order to find trends in multiple database sources that have been archived. So basically, first we're going to look at data warehousing. And this is basically the process of bringing together a lot of databases that's spanning a very long time and centralizing them all in one location. These databases are not operational anymore. So it could be the current year's database, but it would be a copy of it that is not being updated anymore as we speak. Okay, these databases are all read only. We're just looking at the data within these databases. We're not adding new records to them. Okay, these databases also need to be subject oriented. There's some sort of linking factor that make all these data sources that we're combining all relevant to each other. Okay, so it might be for one particular store or about a particular product and all the data across the state that applies to that product. Okay, and this data is usually historical. So it's not just for this one year, it might cover multiple years, multiple quarters of each year. Okay, so it's quite a large data source within this data warehouse that is pulling together all these databases. So with data mining, we're actually looking into this data warehouse. So we're looking for patterns based on all these data sources we have in this data warehouse and what actual useful information we can get out of it. So what we need to do is we can use online analytical processing or OLAP tools that can assist us in analyzing these, uh, the data warehouse. If we're going to look at four steps in how to actually look at this uh, data warehouse and data mine it, we first need to get rid of all the irrelevant patterns. So we've got to get use, rid of all the data that is not relevant to us. We then next need to highlight patterns that are relevant to us. Okay, and this might be based on formulas or statistics, but we highlight those ones that we do need. The next level is then develop a hypothesis. We develop a course of action based on these useful statistics. And then the, finally, we review these patterns, which are either going to confirm or contradict beliefs. Okay, so functioning very similar to an expert system. Okay, so that's how we do our data mining. Now, data mining can be useful for the following areas. It might help us determine what products sell best when placed next to other products in a store. It might help us determine the layout of an advertisement in a catalog and how it really emphasizes products and attracts attention to people. It may help us analyze the expected increase in sales when a product is put on special, okay? And will actually show that although the product price is reduced, by it being on special, more people bought it, which still increased the amount of profit we made because more products were moved. And it also could help us forecast environmental issues based on historical geographical data from similar locations, okay? So let's graphically try to look at the combination of data warehousing and data mining. So basically, what we first do is gather all these historical databases together. So as you can see here, I've got store one, store two, and store three, and I've got three years worth of database, databases loaded up for them. Okay, what we need to do now is extract all the data from those nine databases into our data warehouse. So they all, uh, all their data is now sitting in the data warehouse. Okay, what I then use is our OLAP tools Okay, to data mine it. And now I can analyze all the data in that warehouse and hopefully find out that useful information for me. So for example, as I said on the previous slide, what data uh, sells best when it goes on special? At what time of year does it sell best when it goes on special? When I put it in the catalog, do people notice it? Do they notice it because it's in conjunction with a certain holiday or it's a certain time of year? By combining all this database data together, it helps me get even more useful information out of it. So by data mining a data warehouse, I can find some great information. So I hope that all makes sense to you guys.